Moving on, did y'all see J.J. Reddick talking about Michael Jordan's era being watered down? I think we had, it was on Shaq's podcast. I think we have the clip here. Uh, we're going to have to be quiet so we can hear Shaq and J.J. talk and so let chat hear it as we hear it. So, the only thing right I don't now. like about the conversation is they don't put my boy's name in it. If you're going to be throwing names around, you got to have my boy's name in it. That's like saying, what are the best luxury cars out there, Lexus or a Beamer? You got to put the Mercedes in there, too. Mike, LeBron, or Kobe, now y'all debate. I refuse to get into the GOAT debate. I don't care. They didn't play against each other. What makes him great is the fact that he's done it now for 21 years at the highest level. Yeah, LeBron's never averaged 35 in a year. Guess what? He's averaged 25 or more for 20 straight years. We're nitpicking. A lot of times we're comparing errors. Like, I'll say this with Michael Jordan, and, and I don't mean this to be controversial. Michael Jordan, during his heyday. Six teams were added to the NBA. There were 90 players added to the NBA. Does that not water down? I'm not talking playoffs, by the way. No chance to talk playoffs. You're not telling me that the league for a little bit is going to be a little watered down? JJ Reddick played too much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your thoughts? Because that's not reality. It wasn't 90 new players that you just found off the street that came into the league. They had an expansion draft, am I right? Mm -hmm. They was drafting dudes. I think off. it was three expansion drafts. Yeah, they drafted people off the team. The, teams, the dudes I was already teams. in the team, so it wasn't like and they would just be like, playing on there with they're like, hey, 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 camera guy, you want to play? You want to play tonight? <laughs> Call some of your Don't homies. Be a Charlotte Hornet. Hey, <laughs> hey cheerleaders, you got, a, you got a boyfriend? See if he can come play. Like, they wasn't doing that. They wasn't, it wasn't like that. So, I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. But, I mean, it's easy to say Bron is, is, is that guy because, you know, you're seeing, him in, you're seeing him right now. But the people who didn't really get a chance to really, really see Mike, like, I'm from Indiana and WGN was local. I don't know if it was local for you guys, but I caught mm -hmm. all the Bulls games. And that, mm -hmm. that man right there was exceptional, like, mm -hmm. better than everybody. The stuff that he do, and, and like I said before, he has no advantage. He's not bigger. If you ever seen Mike, Mike is skinny, 6'6". Six, six. You know, he got some cuts on him a little bit, but he probably 210. Wasn't no bulky you know, he frame. wasn't no bulky dude. He wasn't, right. he didn't have no no physical advantage. It was mm. skill. You know what I'm saying? Bron's 6'9", 250. He's a freight train coming down there. You you bumping the Bron, you're like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but he, Jordan more athletic than the average 6'6". Six, 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 no, six, fact. <clears throat> like him and Kobe had more game. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? More they, skill set. You know, more skill set. No disrespect to Bron because we love Bron and everything he's done for the game and how he plays because he's awesome. Mm -hmm. But they he, them two didn't have no physical advantages, man. Them dudes had skill sets. They was hitting real buckets. Like, they had to really create some space. They had to really manipulate some stuff, create angles for themselves. Bron see, Bron see you there, he's just going right through you. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to try to get around you. I mean, why? It. If that's I'm, working, why would I not? I'm just saying, though. Yeah, but, but that's, that's his I mean, physical, skill set. That's his physical advantage because now he can just go bully you, hit the layup. These guys didn't have no bully to their game. They had skill set to their game. I'm not saying Bron don't have a skill set. Right. They stuff was, man, y'all just... Y'all just don't understand. Until y'all got a chance to play against them dudes, you don't really truly. I played against all three, and she has too. It's no comparison in my mind, because them dudes was, man, like I said, I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't eat at night knowing I had to play them tomorrow. Man, like we said, like, bro, man, I ain't going out tonight, man. I, man, I'll see y'all later on. I'm in the room, <laughs> man. I got these chicken fingers and fries. <laughs> man, I got this movie queued up. It's, is man, that it's, your healthy dinner? Bonds is, bonds is 7.15, man. I don't care. I'm in the bed. <laughs> Getting mighty late. Man, yeah. I, man, I don't care. No, we ain't doing that, man. I, I don't care how much I heard in the hallway them turned up or the, the next room go. I don't care. I'm getting my rest, man, because I'm not getting embarrassed because I had a bunch of clown ass friends at home. <laughs> and if you get embarrassed, they call him Man Wales Ball, man. Kobe killed you, man. Yeah. Uh, what? 37? Wales. Man, you trash. You know what I'm saying? I got and I and, and, and I put a, I put too much stock and listen to my friends because that's the only people. That's your world. So when you hear your friends calling, you know, you, you know, you have a bad game and somebody cooks you, you can't when you get to that phone, ah, oh, golly, I only want to open this tag. You're tight. I don't know this fool about to say I'm about to lose a friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? So but you know, Brian, you know, playing against Brian, you're like, okay, let me just maybe do some extra push-ups or get in that weight room and get a lift in before the game, because I know it's gonna be some bully stuff. Cause you know what I'm saying? I is that gonna help it's like seven push-ups before the game. Is that gonna help you versus LeBron James? You, in your mind it's gonna tell you that, yeah. Okay. But in reality, no. You know what I'm saying? But in your mind. <laughs> some jumping jacks. You gotta just yeah. be ready for the blow. You gotta the falls, but you gotta be ready for the you know what I'm saying? You gotta for be ready for the wood that he's gonna that hit contact. you with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so dang I gotta pause that too. Yeah, yeah pause, pause, pause. Yeah. Right. Look, no, <laughs> but I've I've seen it. Like here's my difference is I seen Mike play before I got into the NBA and then to play against him in the NBA at the time I did, he was he was at his pinnacle. He was he was the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And 
with him seeing him and Kobe go against each other. You know, Mike, yeah, Mike was a little older and Kobe, you know, was that that fiery young bull, but mm -hmm. it was still great competition seeing that. And it was still great competition seeing Kobe go against Bron. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And the way with, with that whole goat shit, Mike was the best in his era, Kobe was the best in his era, and Bron is his best in his era, which is now. So I don't think you can put, again, there's no one at times better than the other. Now, do do they all have unique things different from each other? Yeah. As you just said, Brian has the physicality. He's mm -hmm. a he's a big he's a big small point forward. Like just imagine if Scotty <laughs> Scotty Pippen had that that big, you know what I'm yeah. saying, muscle bulk Scottie that Pippen Brian. Had. 290. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like he'd be a fucking tight end or some shit, yeah. right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? But here it is. Then you got Kobe. You know, Kobe had a good skill set. You know, but to me, Brian doesn't have the post moves that Mike or Kobe had. Yeah. You know, both of them used to do that dirty work down there in the post. And, you know, Brian kind of struggles with it now because in his heyday, he never, never had to do it. To do you it. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Running through cats. I thought he developed it as he aged. Well, but yeah, early had on to. when he yeah. had to because yeah. now. Like Dallas, yo, he needed and didn't I'm have not, it. I'm yeah. not as fast. I can't jump as high. He had to, but for those guys, the same thing, you know, Mike didn't have a post game early on in his career. Yeah. You know, Kobe didn't have it early on in his career. Yeah, they, they developed it, but they utilized it more. Mm -hmm. You know, Brian post game is, is suspect right now as a lot of these young cats is looking at it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think, with, especially with J.J. Riddick said with that whole watered down shit, no, no, it wasn't because you got to think about it. Here's the other thing where, where it, it doesn't make it watered down. Because now you're talking about grown-ass men, all right? It's a difference. Mm -hmm. So when I first came into the league, I was like one of the youngest cats in there. You know, I was like 20 years old, 19, 20 years old, right? You know, being a young boy and, you know, myself, KG and all of that. Yo, every night we're going against grown-ass men, bro, with kids at home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I got to pay this mortgage, you young punk. <laughs> like shit, you ain't gonna stop this, you know. Hundred percent. And like, it. it's a difference because now you ain't got that 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 grown man strength, that grown man physicality in the league. So mm -hmm. it's it's a lot easier to deal with. So I don't think you could say it was watered down. And then as Bonzi said, yeah, you getting a draft pick. It's gonna be a young draft pick or whatever. But that team is also made up of that little lottery. Cats getting traded there. You getting veterans mm -hmm. traded there. You know, like it was shit. already in the league. Think about yeah. it, Vancouver. Mm -hmm. You know, they first got, they had a pretty good squad, you know, with uh, uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim leading the way. Mm -hmm. They had a good squad out there. A lot of young time. You know what I'm saying? They had shit that bought in big country. Big country. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, Muscle Bun Tom Hammonds was out yeah. there, I think, for a quick sec. Mm -hmm. Like, but our, our guy Greg Anthony was out there. Yeah. And, but here it is, you're talking about grown men at these positions, yo. It wasn't. Yeah young kids or high school kids or guys who should still be in college. No, it, so no, it, I don't think it was watered down at all. Even with the six teams and that shorter even, time span. But still, even with that, that's that wasn't nothing to do with the game. That ain't had nothing to do with Mike Jordan. All that was, it was expansion of a company. Right. Mm -hmm. That's all that could look at what David Stern was doing throughout his tenure with the league. He was just trying to expand the company. That's why he wanted to do the China shit. Yep. He got the expansion teams that came in during his tenure. Mm. It was to try to expand the company. It ain't had nothing to do with like, all right, shit, can't nobody stop Mike. So we going we gonna bring these other cats in here to try mm -hmm. to get somebody yeah. to stop him and water them. Like, fuck no. It wasn't mm -hmm. that, nothing at all. No, I don't think even now. Like, as much flack as we, and grief as, you know, we give cats in the NBA now, or I give cats in the NBA, <laughs> and this and that. I was going to say, we. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> as much flack as I give them, yo, I still respect them, because why? They are still part of a brotherhood that's a small percentage. 100%. You know how many people across the world play basketball, no matter collegiate or professional in other uh, uh, countries, who inspire to play in the NBA? It's a small percentage. So I can't really say that guys who come there are watered down players. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Guys yes. who playing in the league now, no, they not watered down. Even back then they weren't watered down. I don't think it's ever uh, ever a time when it is it was watered down. Now the entertainment might yeah. might have went from the high flying dunks to the 
the fifty foot three pointers. Right. You know the but entertainment the has itself. changed. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but nah, no, it ain't watered down. You know what's so crazy when you hear people call dudes that NBA players trash, and I'll be like. And only another NBA player could call it yeah. motherfucking trash. I would look at the dudes, I'd be like, yo, fam, that, that 15th man to come to any local lifetime and fitness. Buff your ass. Go to right. any men's league, and he'll give y'all 50 or 60 like it's nothing. He just ain't found his, you know, he said he just ain't in the rotation right now playing, but that man right there that you calling trash, he mm-hmm. would kill you on any, and anybody, everybody you know on yep. any given day. That's Who'd what y'all play with like that. What you mean? Like maybe 11th or 12th guy on the roster. That maybe not get the hype, but it's like nah, like y'all don't want to see him. Everybody, man, everybody on the league can couple, play, man. Yeah, a couple mm-hmm. dudes like, like for me, um, cats underestimated Kwame Brown. Really, yeah. you know, and, and reason a goon. And reason being because he his, when he first came into the league, he's looking at Michael Jordan starry eye like, oh shit, like I'm in, in DC, 18, like oh 19, shit, this, yeah. this is Michael Jordan, you know, this is my hero. Then Mike like, man, you trash, this and that, da 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 the fuck out of here, leave me alone. So, boom, he ain't had that good veteran leadership. Then you get traded to L.A. Kobe does the same thing, sure. you know, boom. But when he came to us in Detroit, I'm like, shit. I'm like, man, this big motherfucker just made it a little bit easier for me and Ben out here on these boards. Like, shit, it's a big body. He could play. All it is is just it was a confidence thing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a young boy and you see – you know, that veteran and he's shooting you down like fuck that fucks your confidence up. So mm-hmm. I think that was the whole key with when you talk about him dealing with that and to to move it towards the topic of the younger players. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's why <laughs> veterans was needed. You know what I'm saying? You need the veterans in the league to be able to go through shit like this mm-hmm. to be able to just a small shit like damn. How many guys come into the motherfucking league? They rookie year, they second year and don't know what a mortgage is. You know what I'm saying? Shit like yeah. that. I can I can be truthful and say I was one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what helped me was that that veteran leadership. You yeah, know what I'm right. saying? It was vets that told me about the mortgage, do this, do that. And it's it's part of it. You know, you need that 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 seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth man. Shit. Mm. They disrespected my man uh Brian Scalabrini with that same shit. And Scal's the NBA champion. Right. And they and they did some little uh, one-on-one thing, and Scal beat like Scal about 5,000 motherfuckers <laughs> ass, yo. And I was like, yeah, y'all talk that shit about that NBA guys are trash and all that shit now, but the only ones who can call NBA dudes trash is other NBA dudes. I think it was Scal that said, he's like, I'm closer to LeBron than you are to me. Mm. Fact. Like regular. No, fact. Like regular. <laughs> that killed, uh, that killed him with that. Planet Fitness that guy. Uh, 